In this video, I'm going to show you how to resize and export your images using Lightroom. Let's get started. Once you have your image or images selected, you can do this on a single image or a batch of images inside of Lightroom. Just go to the export button or you can get to it from the file menu as well, export. Okay. And I'm going to show you how I saved some Lightroom export presets to be able to do this job faster. Anytime you do something in Lightroom um, that you find that you're doing repeatedly, if it's the same action or the same settings, save it as a preset because then you can come back to that easily without having to do the same thing every single time. So once the dialog box pops up for exporting, like you see here, the main settings that you want to be concerned about when you're saving and resizing are these ones right here. Okay, so this one called image sizing. You want to look at the file settings in terms of size um, and how much it's crunched, okay, and whether or not you rename your images. I do rename my images because if I export three versions of this image in all of the different sizes that we talked about in the article, they're going to overwrite each other potentially, or I might mix up which one to save on share online, which one to print and which one to send by email. So I add a little extension and I've just created a couple of presets. Again, everything in Lightroom is, is available to be created as a preset. So I have one called Facebook 2000 and 48 pixels. That's just a file naming template. And all that is is the original name and I'm adding this little prefix at the end or the suffix at the end, okay? So that I know that when I export in this size that this is applicable for sharing on Facebook, okay? When I do the same thing and do an email one, I'll just show you my preset here, okay? Now it's going to rename it with 800, you can see PX at the end of the file name. So I'm just adding a little um, suffix at the end of the file name so that I know which size version I'm sharing and which, which, which one is applicable for the right place. Okay, so that's the renaming structure. You can set that up however you want, okay? You don't have to use the same ones I'm doing. The next one you want to look at is image sizing, okay? so. First, I'm going to show you my preset for full size JPEGs. So if you do nothing and you tell uh, Lightroom to export the full size version, that means you have not checked off this box here to resize. It's going to save with the original camera size in terms of the number of pixels. Okay, it's not going to crunch the file size in terms of kilobytes or megabytes, and it's not going to save it as a smaller pixel size. It's going to be full size. Okay, so I've saved a preset for that, which doesn't check off resize and doesn't crunch it at all. Okay, so quality is your crunching setting. Now let's take a look at the Facebook one. So if I choose my Facebook preset, what I've done here is I've chosen to check off the resize box under image sizing. Okay, and I'm choosing the long edge as the criteria for which to resize. Okay, if you choose dimensions or width and height, you have to enter both size, the width and the height. Okay, but if you don't know what that's going to work out to, you got to do some fancy math and that's too complicated. Okay, so I choose the long edge, which means that you can enter whatever number you want in this box here. Make sure it says pixels, not inches or centimeters. Enter 2048 for Facebook. Remember the resolution you want is 72, okay? Pixels per inch, okay? Not pixels per centimeter. And that's the resizing that you want, okay? For Facebook, I don't lower the image quality. I let it be full size because Facebook is gonna do it, it's crunching. It has its own algorithm that's gonna crunch the image. And if you find that your images look less sharp or pixelated or blurry on Facebook, you've probably crunched them and downsized the file. And then Facebook has done it again, which makes it too small, okay? Let's take a look at the final one, which is resize for email. Okay, now this one, I'm applying both resizing the pixel size and crunching the file size, okay? So image sizing has to do, remember, with the pixel size, width versus height, actual pixel size, and file size has to do with how much space it takes up on your hard drive. So I'm going to reduce both. So I'm still using resize to fit, I'm still using the long edge, 
in for email, I'm going to enter 800. So that's pixels. Make sure you choose pixels, okay? Not inches or not centimeters, pixels. And make sure you, if you have an image that you think is smaller than that, if you're ever exporting um, a small image, you can choose this do not enlarge button as well, this little checkbox here. So it won't upsize your image, okay? That's a bad thing. You don't want to do that. So if you're not sure, you can check that off as well. And for email, I want to lower the actual amount of space this is taking on my hard drive and also the amount of space it's going to take in the email. So I'm lowering the quality here using this slider up in the file settings menu. Okay, this little pull down here to 60. And you can pull the slider down or you can enter the number. Okay, I can type it in 60. Okay, the safe color space. A color space is how many colors your image has, right? The, as further we go down here, Pro Photo has the most amount of colors. Adobe RGB has slightly less colors. It's sort of what's called your color gamut or your color space. And sRGB is the one that you want for online and for email. That is the safe one that you want to use for most everything, okay? If you're printing JPEGs, um, if you're printing your files and you want a full size JPEG, right, if you know that your lab prints using Adobe RGB, by all means, go ahead and use that to export and you will get a better color rendition when you print. But if you're not sure, again, the safe bet is always sRGB. Right. So let's just run an example here. So I'm going to choose the resize for email. You can see that it has added the preset that I'm using for this one, which is um, dash 800 at the end. Okay, so that's going to have my original file name, dash 800 PX. So I know that it's resized to that. And I've got the image format as JPEG, color space sRGB, quality 60. The other option is you can you can limit the file size this way as well and Lightroom will make sure that it doesn't go above that. Right? But I find that for uh, email I like to crunch it by percent. So you can do it by quality which is percent or by the actual file size. And then lastly I'm making sure that my resize is set to long edge 800 pixels on the long side 72 PPI or pixels per inch and I am ready to export. So I'm just going to click export. Now I have it set up. I'm going to go back here again and just show you what I've done here. I have it set up to ask me where to save it. Okay. Or to a specific folder. I always choose choose folder later, especially when I'm creating a preset because then Lightroom will do a little pop up like this to ask you, where do you want to save it? Okay. In this case, I'm just going to save it in my pictures folder. Okay, um, and I've got an article folder called resizing and I'm just going to make a subfolder called exports. And then when you hit open, it seems a little bit counterintuitive. Click open. Lightroom's going to do its thing. You can see that it's exporting and now it's created the file. Let me pop this up over here. Okay, so let's take a look at where Lightroom has saved the file. And you can see that it is indeed, look at that, dimensions, 800 by 533 pixels. And you can see that the file size or the amount of space it's taking up in the hard drive is 79 kilobytes. Okay, so we've done our job correctly. We've saved an appropriate sized uh, image for sending by email. Okay, so remember the two main criteria when you're resizing and saving your images is the actual pixel size and the amount of space it takes up on the hard drive, which is kilobytes or megabytes. So check those two things and double check once you've exported that it, it was done correctly as I've done here. If you want to have a copy of the Lightroom export presets that I demonstrated in this video, just click the link below and you can download them and use them yourself. I hope you found this helpful in resizing your images in Lightroom.